Hi, everybody. We're going to talk about some Grand Seikos today. So um, Grand Seiko has this model, the SPGW231. And the 231 is kind of the great-grandson of the original Grand Seiko, which everyone kind of charmingly refers to as the Grand Seiko first. Now, the 231 is, uh, whereas the first was like a 36 millimeter watch, the 231 is a 37.3 millimeter watch. It's slightly, slightly bigger. It's got a longer power reserve. It runs on the 9S64 movement, which is a 72 hour power reserve. And um, the case has been kind of like tweaked a little bit, but it's really a wonderful, very wearable watch for a lot of people. And I highly, highly recommend it. I've always wanted one myself. Um, but I have a first. Um, I've had certain other watches that were also based on the first, and I never really got around to it. But it just so happens right now at the shop, we have all these new colors of the SPGW231. Um, so Seiko in the last couple of years has realized the SPGW231 is actually a really incredibly popular and well-loved watch. And so it introduced a bunch of models that are based on the 231, but have been have been enriched with this glorious new palette. And I'll run you through it. So this is the SPGW 281. So 281 is a cream colored dial with a gold hand, and the dial has this beautiful frost finish to it. In fact, all three of the watches have frost finishes to them. Uh, 281 is a frost finish, cream dial, gold hand, and there's the 283, which is a beautiful shade of baby blue. And then finally the 287, uh, which is a really deep kind of interesting shade of burgundy and it kind of plays between red and brown and even black depending on where you're looking at it and how you're looking at it. I thought it'd be fun to also have a look at these watches uh, alongside some strap combinations um, because I don't know that's that's what I do I like looking at straps with watches. So starting with the 281 it's on this taupe colored strap which I have to say is a really nice choice like it looks great on that but I think you could do certain things like um, we do a like a yellow Alcantara. And the Alcantara sits really well with the gold hand, makes it much more casual to watch. I really love that. That's super cool. Or if you want something a little bit more traditional, brown with a contrast stitching, I think it's also a great move like that. So that gives you some ideas with 281. Let's have a look at the 283. I'm, I'm really in love with this baby blue. I think it's such an interesting color. Um, it's on navy alligator right now, but you know, the Armory obviously has our navy silk straps and I think it looks amazing on the navy silk strap as so. Uh, or if you don't like alligator for various reasons, um, we also have this blue shrunken calf, which is a little bit more muted than the alligator, but sits really well with this blue dial. Like I love light colored dials. I, I think they give you a lot more leeway for playing with color. And uh, the baby blue is, is a very unusual color. It looks really wonderful. Okay, finally, um, 287 burgundy dial. This one is a little bit of a harder match because um, the burgundy is so subtle, you have to be a little bit careful. Like as you put, for instance, brown things around it, uh, the, the, the dial will look more and more brown. Um, and I'll give you an example. Let's say we try that, right? That's a dark brown goat skin. And I, I like it, but I, I think that this dial really needs something red to sit with it. Um, I also tried black. I think it is quite nice on the black because then the red just shows up a little bit more. But I think um, if you're open to these colors and maybe for instance, if, um, I don't know, maybe you just like color or you just like red, like. Putting it with reds really makes a huge difference. Reds, pinks even. And you know, if you have a lady in your life who you think might like this watch, like I love that. The dusty pink against the burgundy dial really makes the burgundy look more reddish. Um, and I think it would be a wonderful combination for a lady if you were so inclined. Uh, there's also some lovely alcon uh, sorry, nylon variations here. Where's this gone? There you go. Pretty cool. Oh, and finally, Sam asked me to mention this uh, because it's because we just finished Christmas. There's there's your Christmas strap, all right? So, green lizard with uh, with a burgundy doll. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. So there we go, a little presentation on the Grand Seiko SBGW 281, 283, and 287. 
Um, really wonderful watches. Mechanical wine, 72 hour power reserve. We have all three available at the Landmark store in Hong Kong, um, but you can buy them online or wherever. And uh, check it out, it's a great watch. That's it for now, thanks for watching.